you quilters, welcome to AccuQuilt Live. I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. Thanks for joining us today. Hey, I wanna give a huge shout out to the lovely Erica for filling in for me last week. I was getting ready to head out of town and had a great trip. Emily's in the house, how are you, dear? I'm good, recovering from the long weekend. Glad to be back. It was a lovely weekend. Did you go anywhere, do anything lovely. fun? You know, I just I just rested. I did some quilting. I just, yeah, I just kind of took it easy. It was great. Beautiful, beautiful time. It was perfect for pool. Good. All right, where is everyone watching from? Valerie is watching from Billings, Montana. Oh, Leah says hi from Wyoming, but actually she's traveling to Wyoming. Be safe. All right, let's showcase the new projects from our intro video. First up, Jane C. Jane C made this adorable dinosaur Aww. wall hanging. Look at how fun that is. That is so cute, and I love all the sashing in there. Dinosaur dies. Oh, so cute precious. little sashing in the middle. Very fun. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Marty S. Look at what Marty made. It is a gnome oh. pumpkin farmer. Oh my gosh, what a cutie pie. All the gnomes. Gnomes for days. Gnomes for days. I love it. Everywhere. <laughs> Last up, we have Sharon S. Okay, look at this one, Emily. Ooh, All of the rectangles and the squares. Oh my gosh, it's like that pixelated kind mm -hmm. of look. Just, oh wow, so pretty. So pretty, and I love that piano key border on it. It's beautiful. All right, quilters, today's show is all about the newest dye to try, the Go Whirling Star. And before we talk about the dye and show you how to make a block, let's show you the photo of the day. So um, I went to a one day retreat and then I was with my family out in Hood Canal, which is um, in Washington state. Uh, huge shout out to Dean and Kathleen for hosting us for a few days. And we took a boat trip up the canal um, to a place called Pleasant Harbor. And this is a picture that I took from Pleasant Harbor. And I thought it was great because I love to travel and this was a great picture um, to take. So the question of the day is, what was your favorite trip this summer? Where did you go? So here in the Dream Studio, um, one of us went to Kearney, which is not very far, but it was a fun trip. Um, and another one went to Kansas City, saw some baseball games. Uh, Joe and I went to Long Beach, which was a great trip. Emily, did you have a favorite trip this summer? I'd say my favorite trip, honestly, was to go get my blender over the weekend. I needed a, a new one, and it not only blends, it's a food processor, too. Oh, to so. Bed Bath & Beyond. That was that my was favorite trip, trip of the year. Summer. <laughs> Not this summer. Um, I would say that this trip that I just came back was uh, probably my favorite of the summer. We went on the boat every day and went crabbing and took big naps, and it was great. So in the comments section, favorite trip from the summer. Where did you go? Tell us about it. This month's dye to try is the Go Whirling Star Dye. It is only available to the end of the month or while supplies last. Mm -hmm. We had our official launch party yesterday and sold lots of them, so make sure you get yours today. Mm -hmm. So did you watch yesterday's launch party? It was so fun. We have some fantastic bundles and offers for you so that you can get this great new dye to try to begin your projects. The first bundle we have is the Go Whirling Star 12 inch finish die with matte bundle. You receive the Go Whirling Star, which is a 12 inch finish die and a six by 24 cutting mat. We also have the Go Block On Board Favorites 12 inch die bundle, which comes with the new die to try, which is the Whirling Star, finishes to a 12 inch block. My all time favorite die in the world, the Morning Star die, finishes to 12 inches, and the Arkansas Traveler, which is in my top five. Don't forget those setting triangles are included in this, and you get two cutting mats, six by 24 and a 10 by 24. Perfect. And we have just an amazing deal for you because it is National Sewing Month. You can receive 20% off machine embroidery downloads. That excludes our embroidery CDs, but no code is needed to redeem this offer. And a couple of weeks ago on a Tuesday, we had a great show all about embroidery. Yes. There is a new gnome zookeeper. There's to gnomes die for. Days. They're the best. Yeah. <laughs> so check it out. Um, you can go back and watch that show and see some new inspiration or check out our website uh, for National in, uh, Sewing Month. Plus the Gomi fabric cutter starter set is at a reduced price. 
This is our most portable and lightweight cutter and our new die will fit right through it. Just as an added bonus, all orders placed today will receive double reward points that you can use on a future purchase. Today I'm giving away one of our Go Whirling Star dies. Be sure and register for future events on the AccuQuilta event page for your chance to win. By registering, you receive, you'll receive event emails and that way you'll never miss an exciting tutorial. The amazing Emily will announce the winner of our registered viewer at the end of our show. I'm excited about that. Me too, me too. All right, so the Go Whirl and Twirl wall hanging is the pattern that's found on the packaging. It's a free download from AccuQuilt.com. It's also hanging behind the amazing Emily. So make sure you download the pattern before your die arrives um, and you just wanna make sure you make a test block. Yesterday there were some amazing patterns yesterday. There really was. One by Larkspur Quilts was so oh pretty, the fire one and Gina Jempasaw. Yes, those trunk shells are always so inspirational. Yeah, the one behind me um, has the um, Eleanor Burns uh, Blazing Star Die. Yeah, so many. All right, so let's take a look at our die. All right. So it is on a six by 24 die board. So it's gonna fit through all of our cutters, including that Go Me and the studio cutter with the appropriate adapter. Make sure you have a six by 24 cutting mat. So let's take a look at this die. There are actually eight shapes. There are two of these trapezoids, two of these trapezoids, and four of the little half square triangles. Now, the first question you're gonna ask is, can I make this with my cube? And the answer is no. Um, these trapezoid sizes are not found in any cube. And the half square triangle is finished to one and three quarter inches. So it's going to work together so that you can um, make the block in just one pass through the cutter. All the shapes are screen printed to help you keep track of your pieces. AccuQuilt just cut off the dog ears. So from this point here to this point here is a perfect quarter inch seam. It's going to allow you to put your um, block together perfectly. Now, here is the block. Let me show you. It might look a little complicated, but in fact, it is not. And some of you will say, oh, Pam, does it have Y seams? And the answer is it has none Y seams. So really, it's the perfect um, block for a quilter of any skill level. And the block is just four sections right here. And we're gonna sew four sections together to make that 12 inch block. Mm -hmm. So think about pairing this die with the 12 inch cube or other 12 inch bobs like the Morning Star die or the Arkansas Traveler. Make sure um, you think about turning it on point with our 12 inch setting triangles. It's just going to create new and innovative quilt designs. I love the fact that we can turn those on point. Yeah. Just changes everything. Gives it such a different look. All right, Miss Emily, before I lay fabric down, tell us where people went this summer. What was their favorite places to go? Yeah, people are going to very exciting places. So Fran went to Scotland and Ireland. Oh, Fran wins so far. Oh my gosh. And my parents actually got just got back from Canada. Oh, I love Canada. What part did they go to? They flew into Vancouver and okay. then they went across and flew home from there. They went, you know, took a train and went through Banff and all the oh, different, beautiful. you know, beautiful towns and cities and yeah. could, oh my gosh, they just had trip of a lifetime. What a wonderful time. Um, let's see, Miss Kathy just got back from the Outer Banks. Wow. Which sounds beautiful. And Janie, um, let's see, uh, just got back from Kansas City. There you go. Oh, I have to change Joe's answer. Oh, do we? I do, because as you were saying that, I realized, I think last weekend he went to Minnesota and saw for the very first time the Northern Lights. Oh, wow, okay. I know, that's like a bucket list thing for me. That's trip of a lifetime right yeah. there. Right there to Minnesota, <laughs> who knew? <laughs> All right, let's lay down some fabric. Okay, so I wanna talk about this block before I lay down the fabric, because it gets, you need to pay attention, okay? But once you pay attention, it's gonna go together super simple. Now, this block has three different shades of purple. Mm -hmm. The light, the mid medium, and the dark. Whatever you want to call the light, the medium, and the dark is whatever you wanna call it, okay? 
you just have to make sure that you call it the same thing throughout the whole block, all right? And you'll notice that you're gonna create these half square triangles out of the two trapezoids and half square triangles. And you're gonna sew this section together and this section together. So basically what you're going to do is you're gonna create two sections and sew them together. I use this real high tech method of sticky notes <laughs> because A and B are the same shape, but A and B have a different purpose in the fact that this is the lengthwise grain. Right, right. And so it's gonna be here on the outer edge, that B, whereas A is right here, this trapezoid, it's the inside of the block, okay? Sure. So you still want to make sure it has that lengthwise grain all going the same direction in each of your sections, sure. in your units. Yeah. If you just willy-nilly cut them, you're going to have stretch and it's not going to work right. Right. That's... Okay? So just, just do that. Okay? So that's my pro tip. You're just ba basically making two colorways of the same unit. You just want to keep your pieces in the correct order. Mm -hmm. Okay? I see when you lay it out there, that's, you know, you can see how you are avoiding the Y seams by having those two triangle units come together to form the half square triangle. Look at you talking quilt. Look, I'm doing it, Pam. She's doing it so <laughs> well. How long, how long have you been here with us on AQ Live? Oh my gosh, so I think I started, it'll be, I think it was October of last almost year that year. I started. Yeah, almost a year. Well, you should find out when the year was and we'll have treats. We should, oh my gosh. I'll bring in treats. That'd be so much fun. Oh, that'd be fun. Yay. Okay, <laughs> so keep in mind, that's my pro tip, all right? So let's lay out our fabric. I'm gonna start here with A. You'll notice that A is always a dark purple and a medium purple. Dark purple and a medium purple. Okay. And I followed the pattern instructions. I subcut my fabric. Make sure I have that lengthwise green going the right way so that it all works together. B is always light purple and medium purple. I know. Okay. So medium purple and it has some light purple in there. You can always cut six layers. Since today there are four layers and you're gonna cut four, I'm, I'm gonna cut four. You right. just need four blocks to make your 12 inch block, okay? Yeah, nice. And then this I wanted to show you, okay? Cause this is, I purposely left this here. This right here, that's the salvage edge. Right. So I cut with the fabric, I measured from here to here at a quarter of an inch, cut with the fabric, mm. this is the lengthwise grain. Okay. okay. And when you do this, I usually cut the salvage edge off. Right. Because I don't want it as part of my pieces, but today I left it on so that everybody can see how I lay the fabric. So look. Dark, medium, light, and then the white. Perfect. All right, so this is gonna fit through any of our go cutters today. I'm gonna use my go big because I can. All right, Emily, while it's cutting, tell us where people have been this summer. Well, our own Leslie took um, her son on their first family vacation to KC, Missouri. Yay! Yay, Leslie, that's exciting. Her baby is super cute. Oh my gosh, Pam, Morgan just said my year is tomorrow. Morgan just said what? It's been a year tomorrow. <gasps> Happy anniversary to Emily for being with us that for a year. So, oh my gosh. I know I brought treats today. Well, we can just, you know, we'll, we'll we do We can treats. pretend. <laughs> we'll, we'll pretend. <laughs> we can have some next week. Exactly. When you see us with treats on the set, that's why. <laughs> I okay. love that. That's All right, where else have people been? Let's see. Um, ooh, Carol just got back from Munich, Germany. Oh, my gosh. Joyce went to Germany this summer. She, she had a great did. time. I know. That sounded like such a fun trip. Ooh, okay. Stacy went to Pleasant Harbor, which is so beautiful. Pleasant Harbor is where I went and took the picture. Well, 
How funny is Look that? Look at Stacey? that. Stacy, you were two in the same place. Yeah, you were shadows passing in the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's hilarious. Okay, so that. look at my real high-tech way of keeping track of my pieces. A's and B's, yes. these are C's, okay? Hey, don't forget to join me and Erica on Tuesday, September 13th at 12 noon Central Time. We're not gonna launch just one, but we're gonna launch two new dies. So make sure you register in the event section on our event page mm -hmm. for the chance to win prizes. Okay. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start and we're gonna just sew C's and B's together, okay? And you're going to sew them on the same side. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this. Pleasant Harbor was beautiful. Okay, and you know, it's right on the water, so in your quilting head you think, oh, we should have had salmon for lunch. Oh. But in actuality, um, we had um, probably the best pizza I've had really? <laughs> since I've been to Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I I'm, I'm nev will never say no to a good pizza. It was so delicious. <laughs> it was so delicious. Okay, so here's B, we're gonna sew it to the left side. Here's B, we're gonna sew it to the left side. But these get all of the purple ones. You gotta just keep track of your pieces, folks. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these get all the white ones. Um, it was kind of funny in Seattle when I left, there was a heat advisory. <laughs> oh my God. Well, because it was 85 degrees in Seattle. Wow. Which, okay, it was 106 when I left here, so. I felt like 85 was kind of funny, but my brother said, it's okay, we have air conditioning. And he did, okay? I'm, so I'm gonna do three sections at a time. So I'm gonna sew shape C to shape B, all right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna teach you a little trick about pressing. All right, Emily, while I chain piece for days, tell us uh, where people went this summer. Yes, we have, let's see, Theta went to Florida to meet, oh, meet her newborn grandson. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Oh, she got to stay there for three whole weeks and just bond. And oh, my and goodness. Some. That is every grandma's dream. That is the dream. That is every grandma's That'd dream. That'd be so much fun. Let's see. Oh, Karen says her best trip was downstairs to do sewing and quilting. I hear that, Karen. Yeah, I've had a couple of those trips, Karen. It was fabulous. <laughs> Exactly. Let's see. And then, oh, the, Mary says the Long Beach quilt show where she met Pam and Joe. Pam and Joe, we were the walking around. How fun. It was so fun to go to Long Beach. That would be just a blast. We had such a great time with our um, customers. Mm -hmm. they, they were so fun. So excited for more quilt shows. All right. So, oh, hey, speaking of quilt shows, we should... Oh, yeah, well, we're should. going to Des Moines next week. Yeah, we are. Um, it's going to take a little less time than it took. Hold on, i got to get my scissors um, to get to Long Beach. But for sure, we're going to be there. So we're going to be, um, we're taking a whole team, aren't we, Emmy? We sure are. I get, I get to tag along this Emily time. Emily gets to come. I'm so excited. So look for us. We're going to be um, hanging out by Inspired to Sew. The lovely Erica is coming. I'm teaching a class at 2 o'clock on just the basic, here's a Go Fabric Cutter and here's a cube. I'm gonna show you a little strip dye magic. I think we're gonna have to go live on TikTok for that class. You I think? think? It'll be fun, don't think you think? we might have to, yeah. So you, if you don't already follow us on our social media platforms, definitely keep an eye, because I'll be keeping, keeping track of Pam the whole time there too. Emily <laughs> is a TikTok fiend. I am a, I am a fiend for TikTok. <laughs> TikTok fiend, she knows how to do it all, it's so fun. It's we have so a great fun. time. And I'm trying to think of what else we're going to do. So we're going to just see all of our people, and I'm really excited. Yeah. It will... Oh, okay. So 11 o'clock <laughs> is the magical time for our meet and greet. Ooh, it's so um, exciting. The lovely Erica will be there. And from 11 to noon, we're going to be in the Inspired to Sew booth. So oh come gosh. find us. That is just going to be such a blast. We're going to take tons of videos and pictures and... Mm -hmm. It will be fun. Yes. So don't, okay. don't miss a beat. <laughs> and okay, oh. let's go into Des Moines. Right? Okay. Now, here is the, here is the trick I am going to show you. Mm -hmm. 
when it comes to putting the pieces together, I'm going to, I'm going to do it the correct way so you can see. Okay. So what's going to happen is then we're going to sew the half square triangles to shape A. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So on this one, I'm going to press towards shape B and on this one, I'm going to press towards shape A. So when I go to sew them together, they're going to be opposite and they're going to nest. I learned that myself. That, that is just awesome. <laughs> well, it just makes a little more sense. Okay. So on this one, we're going to, and it doesn't matter which way you go. I mean, right. so in this one, we're going to press towards shape C, okay? And then on the other ones, and all of them, all of them. And Pam, we have a question. I'm wondering if this might be a good time to see, like, sure. can you see the lengthwise grain on these pieces, or would it be a way to kind of demonstrate how you found lengthwise grain for Miss Lucy? Yes. Give me one second here. I almost burned my finger. Okay. <laughs> I remember you said that the way they cut is going to determine yes, you know, yes, where yes. that grain okay. is located. Okay, so Justin, thank you, Justin. Okay, this right here, this is the salvage edge. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's the icky part. This right here is the lengthwise grain. Listen, it's going to be nice and tight and high. Ready? Nice and tight. Yeah. This is the bias edge. Look at how much stretch. Yeah. So if you're running this through our cutter, on the bias says what's going to happen is it's going to stretch and pull and cut and then it's going to come back together and it's going to be smaller than the shape you need. Okay, so when you sew it, it's just not going to be that 100% accurate that you right. want. Right. So that when we talk about lengthwise green, lengthwise green, and I always tell you there's a label on the, on the die so that you can read the shapes. So have that label at your belly lengthwise grain, high and tight. Easy way to remember is your belly is high and tight. Just go with it, okay? <laughs> Doesn't matter how many sit-ups you do or do not, okay? All right, oh, and I lost one already. Okay, so, but that was a great question. Yes. Thank All right, you. so I'm just gonna iron my pieces. I'm gonna press towards the C. All right. All right. Where else have people been this summer? Because I feel like people have had such a great summer. Yes. Ooh, Miss Jenny went to Wyoming. But she said also getting to stay at home with the kids and getting to go swimming in the water park with her best friend was also the best part of her summer. So it was kind of a toss up between the trips. There was so much fun at our house in the summer. We went to the pool all the time. Our pool that I work out in the mornings is still open. Oh, wow. Is it really? It's a little chilly. It's just a tidbit. <laughs> it's a little chilly. I mean, they kind of eat it. But this morning, the outdoor temperature was, I don't know, 76 degrees or something, which was, oh. which was okay. Not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Occasionally, I'll get myself and go on walks in the morning. I live right by a nice little trail here in, and it's, it's in Nebraska. In Nebraska. There but you yeah, go. It's starting to get a little, a little chilly in the mornings that fall crisp in the air, which is so nice. Yeah, I walk to the gym in the morning, so that's kind of fun. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm with you. I just think, oh, okay, so look, we did this right. Uh, All right, it's always good to do it right. All right, now we're going to do the same thing here with shape A, but let's just answer the question that people ask. How does the AccuQuilt system improve my quilting? All right, so let's talk about this block. Let's talk about how the, the corners meet up and the seams meet up and it finishes to the right size. The reason is, is because we cut it accurately. We sewed it with that quarter inch seam and now your block is gonna measure accurately. And I think that that's the big thing for me in quilting is if I have to fudge, if I have to stretch a block so that it comes to the right size, then it wasn't cut right or it wasn't sewn together correctly. Exactly. Okay, so we wanna make sure that it does, okay? All right, so before we get sewing, let's talk about our bundles so you can get your hands on this amazing die to try. Be sure and place your order for your bundles right now while supplies last. Plus, you can celebrate National Sewing Month with 20% off machine embroidery downloads. No code, no code is needed, but exclusions do apply. Check the website for details. 
And the new die to tray will fit through the GoMe, which is on sale, and it's a handy cutter. It's perfect for traveling with. Lightweight, portable, only weighs about six pounds. Yeah. Plus today, because it's Wednesday and we love you, we're gonna give you double reward points on all your orders, and you can use those rewards for future purchases. Today I'm gonna give away one of our Go Whirling Star dies. Be sure to register for future events on the AccuQuilt event page for your chance to win. All right, so now we're gonna continue sewing. All right, so now those were our, our, our B shapes. So here's our A's. And Pam, did you fan fold any of these pieces of fabric? I did. Sweet Elizabeth is kind of cute. I did all of them because none of them are directional. Perfect. Yes, that was a good question. Very good question. All right, so A, okay, is both the medium purple and the dark purple. Every, when I was making all of these blocks, I thought of the lovely Erica who loves purple. She thought this was an amazing yeah, This is so her. Project, right? <laughs> and it's like the pinwheel. She loves pinwheels. She does. Like it's just, all the things. It's, totally it's all her. the things. Okay. <laughs> and here's some more A's. Don't anybody stress. I have plenty of A's and B's. I'm going to give the extra to Miss Erica so she can go home and make more blocks. Perfect. All right. Now, previously we sewed it on the side like you would a chisel. Okay. Now we're gonna sew these half square triangles to the top to make a triangle. All right, all right. Again, you wanna read your um, pattern. And just like these two shapes, that shape C is in different colors. So let me grab my shape C's. I love these little half square triangles, okay? So, cute. so the medium purple has the white shape A's and then the dark purple has the light purple shape A's. And you could totally do this in any colorway. You could think about using our Go Quilt program that allows you to change colorways. You could upload your own fabric to it. Mm -hmm. You could make it scrappy. Uh, we had a really cool one yesterday that was just solids. And I thought that'd be really pretty like as a snowflake. You could totally do it in blues. Uh, thank goodness for Go Quilt because I have what's called the too much jean, Pam. The too much? The too much jean. What yeah. is that? I, I go for things that are just like, I'll, I'll pick like, you know, eight loud patterns to go yes. all in one quilt. Oh, You know, yes. it, it's, it's too much. It's just too much. You look at it and go, it's just too much. But luckily Go Quilt is kind of, you know, it's been my, my filter of, you know, it's been my rationale of, okay, I'm yeah. like, no, this final, final result is not going to be what you think it's going to be. It's not going to be fun. It's too much. <laughs> it's too much. I love that. Okay, look how we put this half square triangle here. Now we're going to just sew along that quarter inch seam. Um, you okay. know, I was, I think it was a couple of weeks ago when I was doing my morning star quilt. Mm -hmm. I had put it in gold quilt and I had too much. I had too much grunge, which is unheard of. Um, I still had grunge, but I used plain instead of a patterned. Yeah, but it does. It just makes a huge difference being able to see it once before. Yes, that project is all done. It needs borders. Ooh. So next week I'll bring it in because um, my good friend is going to quilt it for me because it's a gift for Christmas. Okay. So she, I'm going to bring it in next week so you can see. Oh boy, that'll be it fun. It will be fun. And next week we'll have cupcakes or something because it's Emmy's one year. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't believe it's already been a year. That's just But good guess October. I, I know, mean, right? I figured. That was a good guess. I figured it was around the fall sometime. My goodness. All right. How the time that does a fly. It does. All right, now I'm going to add those half square triangles to the top of that trapezoid. So the thing about trapezoids, you can add the half square triangles to the top, to the sides. It's kind of a cool, very cool, cool shape. shape. Yeah. All right, while I'm sewing, tell us where people have been this summer. Yes, okay, so Miss Judy said that she had never seen the ocean. Her son, his girlfriend, and her, and their, her granddaughter took her to Sa San Padre Island. Uh, she got to go barefoot in Texas. In, in Texas. Yep. She got to go barefoot in the sand with the waves and check it off her bucket list. Okay. I, who have grown up in Seattle, am always amazed that people have never seen the ocean. But 
Some people have not. Mm -hmm. And San Pedro Island is such a lovely place. Yeah. Okay, where else do people go? I'm glad people are checking stuff off their bucket list. I know, right? So let's see, Lynn went to the Poconos from the New Jersey Shore to see family and celebrate um, her granddaughter's first birthday. Congratulations on the birthday. Oh, That's so fun. fun. I just thought it'd be fun to have a summer birthday. I have a summer birthday. I was wanted one during the school year so people would celebrate it during school because, oh. you know, Oh, I yeah. think my birthday should be bring a national holiday. Yeah, you got uh, people got to bring cupcakes. You got to do the whole shebang with the yeah. birthday song. And I hear that. I hear that. When is your happy birthday, Miss Emily? It's a week before Christmas. Oh, okay. So were yeah. you still in school to celebrate it? It was always like the last day or the day before the last day of school. So it was usually, you know, a day that people were in pretty good moods. There you go. So it was it was a good time of year. <laughs> Okay, so these are my shape A's, and these we press towards the triangles. So these we're gonna press toward, towards the trapezoids. Say that three times, press mm. towards the trapezoid. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do that. And don't forget, it. all of our videos live on our Facebook and YouTube pages. So if you need to come watch this one and remember to learn how to do the block you can, Yesterday, we had tons and tons of inspiration mm -hmm. on how to use different shapes with this block. So if you want to, you can go back and watch yesterday's show as well. Okay. All right, Miss Emily, while I iron, will you tell everyone about our blog? I sure will. We've got such a fabulous blog. Me so too. we um, are go-getters as well as AccuQuote staffers, including the lovely Erica. Yes. Um, writes um, our blog for us, and it includes exclusive patterns that you can only find there. Um, so there is a really great blog that just went out yesterday about the new um, the new die, the new whirling the star, new whirling star, um, which is just, it's adorable. It's like a, it's like a, t uh, it could be a table or a, um, a wall hanging or a bed runner, you know, just table topper kind adorable. of thing. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so cute. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's just a great place to engage and get, you know, get your hands on some patterns that you wouldn't find anywhere else. And I, I want you to know, I worked here for about a year and when we had started having the blog before I knew that there were patterns that were just for the blog. I know, there were people, I remember working in customer service and people would say, oh, I, I need to find, you know, and they would have a very specific name of the pattern they were looking for and eventually I would just Google it and go, oh, that's on the blog, hello. See, <laughs> that's what you need. All right, Learn something new so we're every day. we're just pressing, we're just pressing. And I'm pressing towards the parallelogram. I'm so happy I'm not the only one with the too much gene. Christina also has the too much gene, Pam. <laughs> the too much. <laughs> Just too much stuff in one lot. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> oh, and so many fun trips. Miss Deanna went to the, their hometown of Pender, Nebraska for the class, her husband's class reunion. There you go, Pender. It's a great place to go. It is. It is, it is. Let's see, oh, Kim has a, oh my gosh, so Kim's asking me what my favorite bob dye is and why. Oh, I wanna hear Ooh, this. Ooh, that's a really hard one. I have never personally worked with this one, but I've been really wanting to do the goose tracks recently. Goose tracks is great. I'm kind of obsessed with it. Goose tracks is fabulous. Between the goose tracks and honestly the weather vane. Oh, weather vane is fun. Crossroads is fun. It looks like the London Underground. That's right. That is a really fun one too. I don't have a I don't have a why for some reason. They just and yeah. I also love the name Goose Tracks. I think it's just stinking adorable. I know. I feel like we should do stuff in the winter with it, right? It depends on like whether it's an applique dye though or a bob dye. But I think in in terms of bob dyes though, which is the question here, I I think I've yeah. got to say the Goose Tracks. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now I'm gonna sew these. Uh, trapezoids together, okay? And because I pressed in opposite directions, they are just gonna nest beautifully. Oh, that's so clever. I love it when things nest. Right? Yeah, it Ooh. just makes it so much easier. This is an interesting question. Carmen's wondering if AccuQuilt has any 3D dyes. Um, and I feel like the, 
Well, there, we've got some oh, that my. look 3D, that's for sure. Hang on, here we have no thread. Um, I don't know why I have no thread. Um, okay, so you can make like a tumbling block yeah. pattern with our dies, and that's like it's 3D, but right. I don't know what she means. So probably, I mean, applique dies are like three-dimensional because you add layers and layers on them. That's true too. Right? That's very, very true. Maybe, Car Carmen, maybe you could um, give us a little bit more to, you know, to your question and we'd be happy to go into that a little bit yeah, more. What you, what you thinking? But we're wondering, um, but yeah, that's kind of where I go is like, do we have any 3D looking? And I'd say like, we have so many patterns on our website that can look three dimensional depending on the colorway that you do as well. Right. Um, that's kind of what the fun is about Go Quilt. Right, because it allows you to do that. Exactly. It allows you to do that. So that's a great question. Yeah. Okay. It's a really great question. Let's talk about some favorite trips too while we're working yes. on. Yes, while, while, while I'm threading my machine. While we're troubleshooting. <laughs> do we have a name for, for your machine here? Uh, this, no, we should have we a name the Foff machine. We, we should name the Foff. We should, we should totally <laughs> name it. I was gonna say while we're having trouble with Betsy or Bertha right? or whatever her name is. Whatever her <laughs> name is gonna be. Let's see, ooh, I've never been, uh, so Cindy went to Weaver, Weaverville, California in the Trinity Mountains. Wow, I have never beautiful. heard of the Trinity Mountains before. I never have either, but I think I might have to do some looking there because, hey, California is a beautiful place to be. California is a beautiful place to be. I was chatting with my friend though this weekend and he was saying that it's, it was actually warmer in California than it was in Nebraska. It was 105 in Burbank last week. Oh my week. goodness. Mason told me every day how displeased he was with how hot it was. <laughs> and one day or two days, their air conditioning went out. Oh no. And I said, today it'd be a really great day to go to the pool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, exactly. just so much, just hard to keep those units going when it's 105. Exactly. Let's see. My brother thought it was hot because it was, you know, 85. Oh. Okay, I'm Jackie, listening. Jackie noted that a half hexi will make a 3D looking block. Half hexi. Oh, yes. That's a great option. Thank you there, Jackie. Let's see, we also- see, No one's ever asked that question before. I've never had to ponder I on know, it. I know, right? This is why I love like every week is so different. We never know what questions we're gonna get. It's so much fun. All right, so now I'm gonna take the next half of my blocks. I'm oh, yes. I'm gonna do the same thing. And then the pin cushion, of course. That'd well, be a the pin cushion, project. Yeah, I mean, our project dies, like the um, Santa stocking die, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, and the pennant die, this and the gingerbread true. cookie die. I don't That's know. That's true. Our, um, our, our good friend Cora um, also is doing um, cat toys She's out of the critters die. Oh, really? She is, yep. She's making her very own. And they are wow. so cute. She's making jellyfish and critter, you know, little. Okay, be oh. sure and share those with us because oh, we really, really, truly want to see those. Yes, they're that so That is cute. so fun. <laughs> you know, right? That is so fun. Yeah, it's like you can do a little bit of everything with our dyes. Since they cut the, you know, the craft felt like that, it's just perfect. Um, when I was in Seattle, on my brother's dock every day. Oh, I pressed this one wrong. So I got to press this one. Um, they have a they have a heron, a blue heron that comes oh. to land on the dock every day. Yeah. And his name is Dave. Dave. And, well, I said to Dean, "Why is his name Dave?" And he said, "Cuz my good buddy is Dave Heron." So his name is Dave. All right. <laughs> and I posted on my Facebook page um, the AccuQuilt Educator Pam Heller one, I said, okay, I'd love to recreate Dave. Mm -hmm. And people had some really great um, ideas about maybe, you know, using the flamingo dye and some other dyes to kind of give you the look of a blue heron. Oh, how fun. Named Dave. Named Dave. Yeah. I do love that name. His name is Dave. Got a good old Dave the heron. Yes. <laughs> 
I don't know. Let's see. Oh, this is a kind of a this is a good question from Annette. Okay. How do you keep the seam fold from folding the other way once it approaches the foot? This happens to me sometimes. Okay, so she's asking, I'm sewing, 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 mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. How do I keep this going up and this going down? Right. I slow down when I get there, I can feel it. Okay. And then I just push it down with my fingers to make oh, sure it does. Nice. Okay. Yeah, kind of keep it in that in one spot. You could also right. use a stiletto, I suppose, if you wanted to. You could to. use a stiletto. We have those on our website. We sure do. Along with our little iron here and our mat. Okay, now. Now I'm going to tell you to press your seams open. And the reason is because when you get to the center of this block, if your seams aren't pressed open, I'll show you this one, then you're just going to get too much bulk. Gotcha. So opposite directions for the half square triangles, press your seams open. But look how good those pieces come together. Love that. See? Okay. All right, here we go. Nothing's better. Well, and the cool thing is if, okay, and if your points aren't right, boy, you want to fix that. Exactly, because that's going to drive you nuts. Right. So it? see right here, my points are perfect. Okay, oh but if they were off, you want to stop and fix that because it, it's going to make you crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, gosh, I can't lose pieces. All right, where else do people go this summer? Because I'm loving this. Okay, I'm so jealous of Danette. So she Hi, went, on, went on a 16 day glamping trip, started in Montana, went down to Missouri, then up to Canada, across Canada, and then back into Montana, 4,435 miles with a wonderful, good friends. How did you get there? How did you glamp? I, uh, did she go, tell us in the comment section. Right. Did you go on a train? Did you go on a bus? Yeah, like maybe they rented. Get there? A, did somebody take in a big. What if they did a camper or something? Like a no, because you know? glamping, they, they have those big, like, that's true, that's true. Right, and big things. That's the only way I would ever go camping other than at a Hilton. Oh, that would just be so much fun. Every every trade show I ever went to with my folks, you know how the, the rodeo would always have the big um, yes. campers. I would beg and plead with my family to please sell our house, let us live in these campers. That was my... RV life, it's the new thing, it, right? Yeah. Sell your house and drive and, all over the country. You can Google it. Exactly. Joe and Renee were teaching me about RV life. Mm -hmm. I know people I are that was remodeling hilarious. school buses and you know RVs and vans. Look at this quilters. See how good they're turning out. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. That's so so yeah, I bet she did. I bet she went like in an RV or a bus or something and then oh, went man. glamping all over the country. That would just be great. And then let's see, Miss Georgia involved. Okay, so her favorite trip involved everyone else traveling to her. Oh, they there had, you go, Georgia. A, You're the smartest of us all. I love that idea. So they had a huge birthday party for my for her husband and friends and family from across the country, and they traveled to us. Best party ever. Yeah, I'm all about that. Oh, yeah. I think that's fun. All right. So now I'm going to put my blocks together because same block, different... Okay. way to put it in the block. Yes. Okay, this unit is the same. So you want to create, I already have one sewn, so we're going to sew together three. And you want to make sure you do it correctly. This is not the time to be watching a show you want to pay attention to on TV. Right. This is the time you want to just go, wait. And because there are no seams here, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I pressed it flat, this is going to come together really nicely oh, yeah, and lay gorgeous. flat. All right. Look at us go. I know. This is so fun. Oh, hey, before, before I sew this together and show you the block, you'll need four finished units to complete your block and pressure seams in opposite directions. We'll talk. But you need four of these half blocks in the pattern behind you. So do you know how they work in the corner? Or of the half Can blocks. I walk over there? Will we ruin all the the TV magic? Is that so in the corner, yes. Is. Yeah, so up, nope, far top corner, right. Yes. So here. 
Oh. Hang them up in there. Let's look at me go. Okay. Yeah. So here is our lovely little, wait. Yeah, so blocks. her. How are her half blocks put together? Oh, her colors are different for the Yeah, blocks. her colors are very different. Okay, never mind. Those are the half blocks you need. Nice. Okay, I'll take them back now because I'm going to sew. Okay. Woohoo. Okay, so follow the instructions and make the half blocks the which you're going to. But what you're going to do is instead of sewing them together like this, you're going to sew them together like this. Ah. That's how we get the corners. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. All right. But that's so you can read the pattern. All right, now I'm going to sew these together. All right, Miss Emily, our last group of where everybody's been this summer. Yes, and let me make sure that we don't have any questions. Oh, yes, ask, too. see if we have any questions. Let's see. Oh, let's see. Does it not hurt the cutting mat to press on the wool mat upon the cutting mat? I have always Oh, you're all worried about, about it, aren't you? Um, the answer is no, because watch what I'm doing, quilters. I'm just going to press like this. Oh, right. You can't feel that underneath. Oh, yeah, no. At home, I don't do that because I press everything at one time. But here in the studio when I'm doing these shows, I'm just going to press for a minute. Yeah, that's exactly. But that is a really good question. And don't ever get your wool pressing mat wet mm. because it will not smell good. Yeah. No. Important things to know about wool pressing mats. <laughs> right. Okay. And I'm just sewing my blocks together and making sure I do it correctly, every one. Exactly. And Fran does wonder as well, how long do the dyes usually last? Oh, Emily, do you want to answer that? Thousands of cuts. Thousands of cuts. What's um, going to wear out? The cutting mats are going to be what's mm -hmm. wearing out for you after a few Do you know how many cuts, cuts you can get out of a mat? Usually hundreds, but it depends on, you know, the frequency and, you know, if you, you got to be, make sure that you're flipping it and rotating it so that you get the absolute most life out of those. There you go. As well. And how do you know if you need a new mat? Well, it's going to stop cutting to the, to the, you know, yeah, it's that perfect cut. Cleanly. Yeah, exactly. I actually yeah. had one that I used to the point of, um, it, like the edges got squished and are fraying and yeah, it was, but it was still working. It was still did going. Did you get you a new mat? I did. I, girl. I did. <laughs> girl. Yeah. I feel like sometimes quilters, you know, want to, you know, cut those mats down and, and use them. And I'm just going to tell you to just get you a new mat. Exactly. Exactly. It really is going to make a huge difference. You want to store your dies. Here, I'll show you in one second here. You want to store your dies like books on a shelf. I'm going to lose all my pieces like this. Don't stack them one on top of each other. The weight of the dies on top are going to damage the blades of the dies on bottom. Okay. But you want to store your mats flat. Emily, have you ever stored a mat not flat? Oh my gosh, it just like, it goes wonk. It, it just, just curls totally, right up, yeah, doesn't it? It's, it's, yeah, it's not cute. If that happens <laughs> late in the sunshine <laughs> on a flat surface and it will lay right flat back down. It sure will. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now I have my little units sewn together and now I'm going to press them open and take your time, quilters. Oh, Emily, we had this question last week um, about steam. Ooh, yes. What is the answer of should I use steam? None steam ever. None steam ever. <laughs> and do you know why? Because um, heat can cause um, the fabric to stretch and then it'll shrink back and then it'll be wonky and then you don't know what if you're still the right size and it's just, it's going to make you cranky. None steam ever. And this will make all of you really think about it. Um, one time years ago when I used steam and I think I used steam before I started with AccuQuilt because sometimes my cuts weren't accurate and I needed to kind of maneuver that a little bit. Right. But I had some beautiful, beautiful fabric and the steam from my iron spit onto that fabric and stained it. Oh no. And I ended up having to redo those blocks. Oh dear. None steam ever. No steam. All right, here we go. We'll but I do you. make sure that my fabric is pressed before I cut it. Mm -hmm. Because if you try to cut it and it has wrinkles, 
it's going to cut the wrinkles and your shapes aren't going to be right. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. All right, quilters, look at this. This is the whirling star die. Look at these points coming together. Yeah, it's because we cut them perfectly and sewed them with that quarter inch seam. Now, I'm going to create my block and we're going to sew our two halves together. Da, da, Amazing. Da. Here we go. I know, I was just get a little nervous when I'm I feel like this. we need, we maybe need stickers that say none steam ever. None steam ever. <laughs> it's like none Y seams. Exactly. Saying. So is starch the same way, do you think? Um, I, okay, sometimes um, I use um, a, a fabrics, like not starch, but a sizing. Mm. If I have lots of wrinkles in it, because I never ever wash fabric either. Right beforehand and so sometimes it has too many wrinkles so I'll use that sizing but very seldom do I use it and honestly I like it just because it smells nice mm -hmm. okay so now I'm going to sew my quarter um, units together to make our block look at how fun this is does this not look like a snowflake to you it really does I it's just, just think so it's pretty. so fun and we have an answer from Danette about the road trip, you know, glamping road oh, trip. yes, tell us. Luxury camper. <sighs> yes. How funny is that? That's the way to do it, Danette. Thank you so much for clarifying. I'm, that, that, that makes it better. That makes it so much better. Okay, remember how I told you to press opposite, right? Mm -hmm. And another benefit of that is when I go to sew these two seams together, they are pressed opposite. So this first seam up here is gonna nest. I see what Luxury you're... camper. Luxury oh my camper. gosh. I, I wonder what that included. I bet it like folded out and I bet it had like foldaways and all those cool little like- And I'm sure there was chocolate. And TVs. And, and TVs. And, and mini fridges. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. I'm just all the things that you need to go luxury <laughs> yes to go glamping I feel like that's true I feel like that's true oh my gosh I'm tagging along with you Jeanette just saying next year pencil me in <laughs> all right making sure I'm sewing this together here we have some like there's just so many cool trips I just think it was such a fun summer and I don't know about the rest of you but summer went pretty fast at the Heller house it did. You know, it just seemed like it was June just not too long ago, and then it became I know. September. I will and say this. Oakley's my... back in school. and Oh, that's right. How's Oakley liking school? She likes school. She mm -hmm. likes school. Um, she likes her teacher. She said, this is a quote, um, I have the nice teacher. The nice teacher. The nice teacher, which makes me worried that What's Who's There's a not nice teacher, right, but right? apparently Oakley doesn't have her, so that's good. Well, that's um, the kids in Washington State were just starting school when I was leaving. They just started wow. this week. Wow. Ah. wow. I, I'm, I'm just glad I got goodness. my summer bucket list out of the way, which was go making sure I got out on the kayak at least once. Okay. Which finally happened. This is hilarious. Oh, look, we just have five minutes left, so we're good. Okay, I'm just making sure that my pieces are lining up here. Oh yes. Okay. Because you don't want to put it together if it's not. Okay. <gasps> wow. So look at how fun that is. Okay, now I'm going to press to opposite sides. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that these seams nest. Okay. Okay, so um, when I was in Seattle, my brother has kayaks because he lives on the water. Okay. And while I was on vacation, um, I posted a picture of me. Oh, here, see, now look, I'm gonna fix this. I'm gonna fix this, hang on. I posted a picture of me um, on said kayak and put a funny caption like my view from the office today or something, because I wasn't working. And Emily sent me a message and said, how have we not talked about us kayaking yet? I didn't know you kayaked. And what was the answer I gave you? You said, I'm only kayak when I'm here. This I only kayak only at my brother's house. <laughs> I do not kayak. 
<laughs> but I thought that was cute that she wanted to go kayaking. I was so excited. I thought okay, we were so just... I took out those last, I don't know, inch worth of stitches mm -hmm. because I want to make sure this lines up. Oh, totally. You don't want to. You don't want to spend all this time and not have it line up, folks. Right. Okay? So sometimes you just have to find your seam ripper and make it so. Okay. So the answer is I do not kayak, only at my brother's. <laughs> and. But I thought that was cute that Emily wanted to kayak with Oh, me. I got so excited. I thought Pam and yeah, I were she about thought to. She, she thought she and I were going to go kayak somewhere. Oh, yeah. and I've... That was never going to happen, unless she comes to Seattle with me. Well, then so, I'll have to get the purple paddler and get them on the road. My sister-in-law, Kathleen, she is a beast when it comes to kayaking. <laughs> she loves to kayak. And she'll go out for hours at a time. Oh, wow. Because the kayaks have little... Um, you know, little spots for you, like food and water and, oh, yeah. you know, and she can get in and they're really stable. So she can get in and out of them and, you know, get out in the water if she needs to and, you know, all of that kind of stuff. So and um, she brings her cell phone in case she needs to call my brother to get her, you know. Okay, now we're going to sew our halves together. Hooray! All right? Okay. And... Again, I'm going to really take my time and make sure that these seams line up in the corners because quilters, don't, don't be sloppy about it. You know, take your time, press your seams the way they're supposed to go, you know, make it happen. All right, Emily, do we have two last where people have been? Yes, we have uh, Karma who went to Iceland and then on to Norway. Told oh. the Halidal area and met with cousins on a farm that has been in the family since 1602. Wow, what, what a, a great trip. That would what be. What a great trip. Unbelievable. Iceland is on my bucket list. Same. And Norway is where my people are from, so really? I should have gone with her. Oh my gosh. I'm just saying. Seriously, my, yeah, we gotta, we gotta hop along on all these trips. My brother's going on his bucket list trip. He has taken a cruise to Antarctica. Whoa. Yeah. Oh no, that would be, that would be okay. just beautiful. All right, look at my block. Okay, so these seams all came together here. Let's press it out, we have one minute. Okay, while I do this, don't forget to follow the pattern, add the large and small border to complete the top. Lay the top, the batting, and the backing pinner base quilt as desired, and use your favorite method for binding. Hey, be sure and share your finished projects with us. We'd love to see them. Uh, we have them on all of our social media platforms. All right, Miss Emily, I think it is time. Oh, don't forget to join Erica and I on Tuesday, September 13th, 12 noon Central Time, as we launch two new dies. Ooh. Make sure you register for the chance to win prizes. And don't forget those bundles that we have today to get your hands on this amazing die. This is the Go Whirling Star. The first bundle is the Whirling Star die with a six by 24 cutting mat. This bundle is perfect for adding this bob die and it's compatible cutting mat to your collection. The next is our Bob's 12 inch favorites. You'll receive three 12 inch bob dies, including the new Whirling Star, the Arkansas Traveler, and the Morning Star, which is one of my favorites. And it works perfectly with those 12 inch bobs. Plus we have 20% off machine embroidery downloads in honor of National Sewing Month, okay? And there's new adorable des designs there, like one for the gnome, there's a Pam's pickup new one that has um, fabric in the back. It's super cute. Love that. Go Me is marked down for tons of savings so you can easily quilt on the go. Plus, you'll get double reward points on orders placed today. All right, Emily announced our winner today, and I'm going to finish pressing this one seam. It is time. All right. The winner of the, of the prize today is, drum roll, please, Linda N. of Colfax, California. Congratulations, Linda. You're going to love it. Hi. All right, be sure to join us next week as we showcase one of the first new of our two new Bob dies. It's going to be super fun. 
on behalf of our entire AccuQuill team. So offsite, we have Lauren and Katie and Morgan who are helping with our comments. Here in the Dream Studio, we have Brock and Justin and Joe, and I am, of course, we have the amazing Emily, and I am Pam Heller reminding you at AccuQuote, we help you cut time so you can quote more. We'll see you next week.